normal one, we're gonna come to our color page, click on effects and type in color space transform. Drop that in our first node. And since I shot in slot three, input color space is going to be S gamma three cine. Input gamma is gonna be S log three. Output color space is going to be DaVinci white gamut. And output gamma is going to be DaVinci intermediate. And now let's label the node as CST1. And now create another node. And I'm gonna drop in my DCTL in here. It's the open DRT DCTL, it's free if you guys wanna download it. And then for input gamut, make sure it's DaVinci white gamut. Input transfer function, it's DaVinci intermediate. And your look preset, make sure it's Ariba. And let's label the node as DRT. And now after the DRT node, let's create another node and label that Dehancer. And then come up here on your effects, type in Dehancer, drop that in. For film profile, click Kodak Vision 350D. And for the print, make sure it's Kodak Endura glossy paper. And now that we have our CSTs, DRTs, and Dehancer set up, now let's go to the fun part. And now all the color grade is going to be in between the CST and the DRT node. So after the CST node, let's create another node and label this adjustments. Step one, I'm gonna add some contrast, make sure only the white channel is selected and bring down the shadows a bit and raise up your highlights. And now I'm gonna go into our color wheels and boost up the shadows slightly and bring down the highlights slightly. And now let's create another node after the adjustment node and label it chroma warp. And then come down here and click on the color warper and click on chroma warp. And for this effect, we're gonna be on our normal mode. All you have to do is come up here, click on the grass and then move it to the orange side, right up to there. And now next, we're gonna create another node after the chroma warp and label this HSV saturation. And then right click this node, go on color space, click on HSV, right click the node again, go on channels, turn off channel one, right click again, channels, turn off channel three. And then come back to your color wheels and then on your gain wheel, make sure you increase the green slider. And then the final step to get everything looking amazing, go on your dehancer node, and then scroll all the way down to expand and on your black point, make sure you bring your black point down slightly. That's how you go from slog three to this. If you guys wanna learn color grading in more detail, join my community. The link is in the bio.